back with comedian David Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. So I just finished a book called Snow Crash, a science fiction book. I thought maybe I'll start reading science fiction, keep an eye on these fucking nerds and see what they're up to. You've got to keep an eye on these shifty fucking nerds. I've been keeping an eye on everyone else. I've got about the fucking nerds. You just write nerds off. You're like, what can that skinny anemic little cunt do? But it turns out fucking nerds are the most dangerous cunts on earth. This snow crash, it's pretty much the world that's coming, technology-wise anyway. It's the book that coined the phrase fucking metaverse. That's where the metaverse comes from, this book called Snow Crash. Trust me, all the nerds know about this book. Fucking Jack Dorsey was talking about it the other day. It's like Tim Ferriss's favorite book. Elon Musk fucking loves it. So in this book, they've got the metaverse and basically it's the same as they're trying to build now. But this one is fucking like legit. People are spending a lot of time in this metaverse. So in the world, hyperinflation is hit and it seems like the countries have sort of like devolved into smaller entities like corporations. So there's no real countries anymore and there's no real laws. Well, there is, but they're, like, loose, very fucking loose, which will probably end up happening here. The hyperinflation thing, definitely, like, they're paying for things with, like, trillion-dollar bills. That will eventually come. The metaverse will eventually come. Breaking up of these huge nation-states will eventually come. They've got, like, Neuralink in there as well. Basically, they've got fucking all the technology that's just about here. And it was written in 92. So how long ago was that? 30 years, 31 years. So it's pretty good predicting. I mean, none of that shit was around then. And I suppose if you read it back then, this book would have been fucking amazing. But science fiction fucking sucks. It's so fucking lame. (laughs) It wasn't exciting at all. They tried to make it exciting, but nah. The way fucking nerds rave about this book, I I just don't get it. Give me a depressed character with introspection any day of the week over fucking some wow technology. But I'm going to stick with science fiction for a little bit. I'm going to read that Ready Player One and then I don't know what else there is. I'll read some other shit because even these nerds like Jack Dorsey, the guy who fucking invented Twitter... He's like, if you want to know what the future is going to look like, just read science fiction. It's all in there. The nerds read those science fiction books and then try and fucking build it in reality. And I think that's fucking true. It happens all the time. It will come out in a book or a movie and then the next thing you know is fucking in reality. Unless it's some sort of fucking like preconditioning fucking psyop going on. That's the way I lean. (laughs) If it doesn't make sense, my first fucking intuition is PSYOP. Everything's fucking PSYOP to me. I was watching MasterChef the other day and this, I I think I spoke about this in episode like 289 or something like this. But I was watching MasterChef the other day and for some reason, I don't know why, They were going in between shots and they managed to fucking squeeze in just like one or two seconds of footage of the sky and an aeroplane going through the sky with like that contrail, like the chemtrail fucking thing. And whenever I'm watching fucking mainstream TV, which isn't a lot, that will pop up some cut to the sky with an aeroplane and it doing the chemtrail thing. And I don't really give a fuck about chemtrails or not. I haven't looked into it enough. But when they do that little cut to the fucking aeroplane in the sky with the fucking chemtrail, all I'm thinking is fucking PSYOP. And how's this for a fucking coincidence? I was <laughs> I was doing some YouTube tutorials about doing some video shit. And the dude was like, yeah, you can whip up a fucking video just using AI in like five minutes. And he went through all the different things, but he made a video of this thing that happened in San Francisco in the 1950s 
the government or the CIA, I don't know who the fuck, it was someone, sprayed the people of San Francisco from aeroplanes. Like, legit, it was, like, declassified and stuff. I didn't know. I wasn't trying to look into this. I was just trying to do a fucking YouTube tutorial. And it turns out fucking the government were spraying San Franciscans from aeroplanes back in the 50s. So I'm like, is this a PSYOP? Who knows? But it's best to keep an eye on these nerds. That's for sure. You can never trust nerds. They have no souls or feelings. Look at Zuckerberg. I feel like Zuck might be growing a little bit of a fucking soul through mixed martial arts and jujitsu. I think you're forced to. When you get punched in the face all the time and choked out, you're just forced to be, like, more human. Anyway, I managed to squeeze in some jits. That's good. That's a good way to end a pod. That'll do it for today. If you're enjoying the podcast, give it a share around, and I'll see you the fuck later.